mm. that is what it is about. That is why most of the time I'm emphasizing on worship. We need to learn to worship. So I'm mm. sharing this morning on a message I have entitled, When You Pray. So there's something mm. that always happens in the spirit when we pray, whether we see it or we don't believe Amen. in it, something is happening in the spirit. So you don't have to be aware of that. So whether you feel the goosebumps and you don't, there are times when somebody is praying and you're saying, oh my goodness, I felt the goosebumps. You know, my hair was standing when somebody was praying. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter whether you are feeling that way or not. What they mm -hmm. happening in the spirit. And most of the time, I like telling this, Lorraine, that you know what? There are times when I want to come and just, I just want to pray. I don't want to preach. I don't want to teach. I just want to worship. I'm not itching to preach. I'm not itching to stand on the pulpit, but rather mm -hmm. I'm itching to just be in the closet and pray. Sometimes mm. I would rather mm. feel, you know what, I'm not coming for the corporate prayer meeting. I want to stay in the secret place because that mm. is where I meet up with God. Amen. 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 So you don't have to feel or to see anything, you know, when you pray. Just know that your prayer is mm. not in vain. So this morning we are going to look at some of the different encounters Amen. in the Bible. Mm. There are some people that experience so much, you know, how were they answered? How did they pray? What happened to them when they prayed? Mm. What did they see when they prayed? That is what we are mm. going to look at this morning. Can we open our Bibles to the book of Acts? I'm reading from Acts chapter 16 this morning. This is a familiar passage. I know a lot of you know it because we refer to it. You have read it. You have heard it. But we're going to look at it today and perhaps look at it from another angle. So I'm going to read from verse 25. It reads, now, this is the time when Paul had been, uh, Paul and Silas were arrested. If you remember, there used to be this man who owned a slave girl. The, uh, she used to prophesy. That is why I say not all prophecy is from God. Most mm. of that is divination. So this child was operating under the spirit of divination. So she was, I didn't know she, what I said is that this person was just a witch, okay? So people operating under the spirit of divination can prophesy, they can see, okay? But the spirit mm. behind them is not right. Amen. It is not the spirit of God. So this is Amen. what happened to this girl. So Amen. when Paul and, so they, this girl was following Paul and Silas, right? And she was saying, mm. hey, these are the men of God. You must listen to them. You must hear them. Remember, even the demons mm. know God. They can recognize Amen. who you are. They know you in the spirit. Mm. When the son mm. of mm. Peter wanted to, to, to cast out demons, right? That demon mm. told him, Jesus, I know. Oh, I mm. know. so they know. So this mm. demon that was operating in this girl actually recognized Silas and Paul, and she was saying all sorts of things. But Peter recognized that 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 spirit behind her and cast it out. So the owner was annoyed because he used to make money. That is why people who are asking for money when they prophesy that is not the spirit of God. I want to tell you that this morning. Anybody asking mm. for money after they prophesy, they are making money. This is Amen. what was happening to this girl. So give me so much money and I'll mm. prophesy. Oh, mm. give, give mm -mm. me an over. That is not the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. That is divination. Mm. Okay. So. Amen. 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 After these people had been, uh, uh, they were locked up. Now they were in prison. Now listen to this. From verse 25, it says, about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing songs to God. The mm. other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there mm. was an earthquake so strong that it shook the foundation of the jail. And the, doors, <clears throat> and the doors opened and the chains on all the prisoners fell off. The jailer woke up and saw that the jail doors were opened. He thought that the prisoners had already escaped. So he got his sword and was ready to kill himself. But Paul shouted, don't hurt yourself. We are all here. Amen. So now... Amen. This is what happens. Something simple. We simplify the word of God. We don't want it to be complicated. This is my point this morning. When we pray, something happens. So at Amen. midnight, that was at midnight when Paul and Silas were praying. Remember, it is not just at midnight that things happen, but yes, mm -hmm. at midnight, mm -hmm. things do happen. So these people were praying and they were singing songs to God. So mm -hmm. all Paul and Silas did was to worship. All they did Hallelujah. to sing songs. All they did was to mm. pray. Did mm. they know how the foundations of the jail was shaken? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That is why mm. I was saying, when you pray, something happens in the spirit. You don't need to mm. know how it's going to happen. Just mm -mm. pray. Sing. Just pray. So, did they see who opened the doors? No, they didn't. Mm -mm. The doors just flung open. Did they see mm -mm. who broke the chains? 
No, they didn't. Mm -mm. All they did was pray. All they mm -hmm. did was worship. This is what I'm talking about today. They didn't see anything because this was a spiritual activity. So mm -hmm. anything to do with prayer is spiritual. Life is spiritual. We must know that. Mm -hmm. Amen. That is mm -hmm. why I Amen. want to encourage each one of us to continue praying. Let's also read from Acts chapter 12. Mm -hmm. We are looking at people who were praying. What happened when they prayed? I'll read from verse 1 for better understanding. So this is Acts chapter 12. During this same time, King Herod began to do harm to some of those who were part of the church. He ordered James, the brother of John, to be killed with a sword. Herod mm -hmm. saw that many of the Jews liked this. So, you know, he wanted to please the people around him. So he decided to arrest people that were preaching the gospel, people that were praying for the sick and healing the sick and raising the dead. So he, he wanted all these people. So he made that an example. He killed um, James, right? And then now he wanted to turn on Peter. Okay, so this happened during the festival of unleavened bread. He arrested Peter. He had a plan that he was going to put Peter in jail. So where he mm -hmm. was guarded by a group of six soldiers, one person, six soldiers, sure. Yeah? So mm -hmm. because he knew that I'm sure something might happen. So Peter was kept in jail, but the church was constantly praying to God. I underlined that. There is prayer happening. Peter is arrested, but the church is praying. Amen. So this is where Amen. you mustn't get discouraged. What is happening to your children? What is happening to your spouse? What is happening to your parents? What is happening to your siblings? Let us continue praying because we see these people praying. So let us continue. Verse 6. One night, Peter bowed was sleeping between two of the soldiers. One soldier here, like one on the right and one on the left, so that he doesn't escape. Imagine sandwich between soldiers. So then more soldiers were guarding the door. One man, and Peter was unarmed, remember. So mm. more soldiers were guarding the door of the jail. Herod was planning to bring Peter out before the people the next day. Suddenly, verse 7, Mm. An angel of the Lord was standing there, and the room was filled with light. The angel tapped Peter on the side, tada, and woke him up. The angel said, hurry up, get up. The chains fell off Peter's hands, but who removed the, the, the chains from Peter's hands? We see here that the people, his, 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 the people, the church, were praying for him when he was in jail. Mm. You see what's mm. happening here? It's a spiritual activity. So when you pray, you begin to attract, you know, things in the spirit. You begin Amen. to Amen. attract angelic mm. activity. This mm. is what mm. we are seeing here. So the mm. first time around, it was Paul and Silas. And now we see Peter, there's an angelic activity here. So he tells him, the chains fell off Peter's hands. The angel said, get dressed and put on your sandals. Peter did as he was told. And remember, there is instruction coming here. So mm -hmm. when you pray and when mm -hmm. you have a vision, when the Lord sends an angel, when the Lord sends help, listen. Okay? Mm -hmm. Take instruction. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. you'll be sitting there, help Amen. has come, and you don't re recognize the help. You are waiting mm -hmm. for the angel to jump down and mm -hmm. jump where mm -hmm. you should be. Mm -hmm. You should look like what you have seen in the movies. Doesn't work like that. <laughs> We have to be alert in the spirit. It's a spiritual activity. Amen. Therefore, this is what we say. When we pray, we hear voices, right? Okay. There are different kinds of voices. You need to recognize which voice is speaking. But I'm talking about when the mm. Lord sends help, when the Lord is speaking to you. He will give you direction. He will give you strategies. We were singing that song. How so much better Amen. are your ways, God? Because we know that mm. the Lord's ways, his ways are much higher than our ways. They are better. Amen. His Amen. strategies are better than our strategies. So the way I can think about it, Maybe Peter was sitting there in jail and praying and thinking, hey, you know, if only so and so can speak to the counselor there, then that is our strategy because we are thinking, mm. we are trying to think, if my husband can speak to this person, then this person can have mercy. That is what we are doing. Hey, I'm preaching to myself this morning because there are times when we we are waiting for somebody to speak to somebody at the, mm. at the Kanukuri, oh, we shive. that is what we know. This is the world we are living yeah. in. We are also saying, mm. unless there's somebody, mm. you need to know somebody in, mm. in order for you to get that standard. But no, yeah. I'm being told here that as long as I'm praying, Amen. it's your activity. Okay, mm. so when yeah. you are praying, the Lord will send mm. help mm. from where? From
from his sanctuary. Mm. That is what Amen. Amen. So let Amen. us go on here. So he so the angel now, Peter puts on his coat and follows. Okay, he listens, right? I was talking about listening. So he listens mm. and mm. he follows, he gets the instructions. Sometimes some of these things may look stupid. Eh? The angel mm. of God, oh, you know, you hear a voice telling you, do this, and you say, Yeah, what would people mm. think about me? Mm. That is what mm. oh, yeah, mm. they'll think I'm mad, you know. Mm. Mm. That we have to be careful when the Lord is, is speaking to us. So verse 9. Amen. So the angel went Amen. out and followed. He did not know if the angel was really doing this. <laughs> he thought he might be seeing a vision. Remember Peter used to see visions. So mm, if you're mm. a person who is in tune with the spirit of God, you'll be seeing visions, you'll be hearing, and you'll be thinking, is it my mind? Remember when the mm, Lord mm, like some mm, of you sit and you say, mm, Mm, okay, mm, Lord, if it's mm, really you speaking mm, to me, I want mm, the door to open a little bit. <laughs> mm, <laughs> and mm, you are mm, saying, mm, I want the door mm, just open the door a little bit. I want you to flick out the light a little bit, you know, so that let's not do those things, okay? Mm, let's just be able to recognize. So Peter followed, okay? So he just didn't know whether is this true? Am I dreaming? You know, Peter and the angel went past verse 10. They went past the first gate and the second mm, guard, you know. So these guys didn't even see. How did they even go past the thing? Mm, I mm, guess they were mm. just things of the spirit we cannot explain. That's why they explain are them. Spirit. Amen. Because operating in Amen. the minds. Amen. Mm, so, Amen. Then Amen. They mm. came to the iron gate that separated them from the city. The gate opened for, for them by itself. They mm. remote control. Those days there was no remote control. The door just <laughs> opened by itself, right? Mm-hmm. After they mm-hmm. went through the gate and walked about a block, the angel suddenly left. Okay, so mm-hmm. there's a time that you know, you know, uh, you you will have that faith, that conviction that indeed mm-hmm. the Lord has spoken, and then mm-hmm. at that point, now you have to walk your own way. Now it is you, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. So you were made in the secret place, you got this conviction, you arise and you act on something that the Lord has told you. Mm. And then now you have to go to Manly Mall. And then you remember, oh, you know what? What did what what did they say to me? This is what happened to Peter. All of a sudden, he is alone. Peter realized then what had happened. Verse 11. He thought, now I know that the Lord really sent his mm. angel to me. He rescued me from Herod and from everything those Jews thought would happen to me. So when Peter realized this, he went to the home of Mary, the mother of John, who was also called Mark. Many people were gathered there and they were praying, remember? They were praying. So Peter knocked him, go, go, go on the outside of the door. And the servant girl named Rhoda came to answer it. However, Rhoda was here. So Rhoda came running. She opened the door. She was so excited. She was so happy. She saw that this is Peter. Mm. She forgot to open the door. That's what the Bible says, out of excitement. She mm. went back into mm. the house and told the people, listen, people, Peter is outside. Peter is outside. And they said, you are crazy. That must be his angel. So such unbelief. This is what mm, mm, if the Lord is doing things in our life. Mm, we are thinking, mm, no, 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 it can't be. So you pray, but you are, you are expecting God to do something only to your own understanding. So these mm, people did not want to understand that, you know, maybe they had made an appointment to go and see, you know, somebody in the offices, please, please, you don't go and plead like we do, you know, please, can you just have mercy? They had made an appointment, but that time did not even come for them. Peter was already at their door. How did Peter get out? You know, they mm-hmm. knew that somebody had even been killed. How did Peter get out? So what I want to say this morning is that when we pray, let's expect things mm-hmm. bigger than us. Let's mm-hmm. not limit mm-hmm. what we are going Let's just wait. Let me say, let's just wait. Because we Amen. don't know how God is going to work out our situation. Amen. We don't know Amen. how deliverance is going to come. Amen. We don't know how that provision mm-hmm. is going to come. We're just going to wait. This is what I'm learning this morning. Because these mm-hmm. people were surprised. So what are you expecting when you pray? They are busy mm-hmm. praying. I'm sure this was an overnight, <laughs> overnight prayer meeting. They are praying. Mm-hmm. So where are we praying? If we don't want mm-hmm. to expect a miracle. Yeah. So mm, let us be mm. expectant as we are praying. Let us be expectant that God is going mm. to meet us. Let us be expectant that we're going to have an encounter. Let us be expectant Amen. that there's going to be a miracle somewhere. Amen. So they were Amen. praying, but they did not understand how mm. God was going to do it. So much mm. better are his ways. Amen. Amen. But Peter continued to knock. <laughs> When the believers opened the door, they saw him. They were amazed and all these things and explained all these things to them. And he left. Amen and amen. Amen. 
That is how God works. He works in ways we cannot see. He makes a mm. way where there is no way. He parted mm. the Red Sea. We saw that. Amen. We read about it. We saw what happened to Daniel. We saw what happened to Shadrach, Bishop, and Abednego. So he is mm. the same God today. Let's look at the other story before we close. King Jehoshaphat's prayer. I'm talking about prayer this morning, and I'm talking about the spiritual activity that is happening when we are praying. So King Jehoshaphat, mm. in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, I'm going to read from verse 13. So I'll just read a little bit of that. So what happened here, background for those people that don't know what happened is that King Jehoshaphat was told that he's, there was an army that was going to attack them. So he was so afraid and uh, he mm. called for the assembly of the people there. They were all assembled there and they were praying and they were fasting. And this is what mm. happened when they were praying. I read from verse mm. 13. All the men of Judah stood before the Lord with their wives, babies and children. Then the spirit of the Lord came on Jehaziel, son of Zechariah. All right, Zechariah was the son of Beniah, the son of Jehu, and the son of Metaniah. Jehazel was a Levite from the family of Asaph. In the middle of the meeting, Jehazel said, now this is what we are saying, when we are praying, we should be able to listen. Let's be alert, because mm -hmm. that is mm -hmm. when God speaks. As we are worshiping, mm -hmm. don't forget and do all sorts of things. Be attentive mm -hmm. to the Spirit of God. So here, this Amen. is what happened. And Jehazel said, listen to me, King Jehoshaphat, and everyone living in Judah and Jerusalem. The Lord mm. says this to you. Don't be afraid or worry about mm. this large army because the battle Amen. is not your battle. It is God's battle. Tomorrow they will come up. This. So he gave them an instruction. He gave them a strategy. This is why mm. I'm, I'm not going to finish reading that. Please find time to read uh, Second mm. Chronicles chapter 20 to understand what happened here. But mm. the issue here is about getting to God in prayer, worshiping, okay? So King Jehoshaphat was in trouble. He was afraid. He came to worship. He came to pray. He presented his request to the Lord. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. while they were still praying, they were answered right there. Okay. And they were given a strategy right there. So God's ways are better than your ways. They are better than my ways. That is why Amen. you Amen. to come and to Amen. worship him. Amen. Amen. So Amen. One story I wanted to talk about where prayer is concerned. Then there's a story. There's Daniel's prayer in the book of Daniel. We know Daniel. We mm. most of us know Daniel because of the lion, right? But there are a lot of things that happened there in that book. In 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 Daniel chapter twenty, we see Daniel praying. Okay, so he is mm. praying and he is confessing his sins and the sins of those people, the fathers and everybody else, and he is praying. But suddenly, from verse twenty one, I will read from verse verse twenty one. While I was still in prayer. Okay, so we see King Jehoshaphat. Okay, so we, we, we spoke about Paul and Silas, right? Mm. While they were praying, worshiping, we saw what happened. Then we saw Peter when they were praying for him. Mm. We saw what mm. happened. Jehoshaphat, mm. they heard the strategy while they were praying. And this is Daniel. He also says from verse 21, while I was still in prayer, Gabriel, mm. now this is Gabriel the angel, the mm. man I had seen in the earlier vision came to me in swift flight about the time of the evening sacrifice. Some of you would say, chua, chua. you would think it's a ghost. You know <laughs> what is happening in swift flight day. So he was praying and then Gabriel appeared to him and he gave him an instruction. He instructed me and said to me, Daniel, I have now come to give you insight and understanding. So this happened whilst he was still praying, right? But sometimes it doesn't happen like that. Sometimes when mm -hmm. we pray, there is activity, you know, spiritual activity, but we are not getting the answers immediately. Not because there's something wrong with us, not because mm -hmm. we are sinning, not because we are not praying the right way. No, mm -hmm. but let's look at um, let's look at Daniel chapter twenty. Then we'll see what's happening here. I'm sure you also know Daniel chapter 20, where the angel of the Lord came and appeared. I'll only read from verse 12. So I want us to learn that, you know, the spiritual activity is happening. There's, there's the army of God. Then there's the army of the enemy in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ephesians mm -hmm. chapter 6 talks about uh -huh. Amen. Okay. So, yeah. But then let's get to Daniel chapter 10 and then we'll talk about the others. Then he continued. That is the angel now speaking to Daniel. Do not be mm. afraid, Daniel. Since the first day, this is another incident. Chapter 9 was something else. Now this is chapter 20. No, chapter 10. So he said, since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to them. Mm. But, 
Okay, verse 13 says, but the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me because I was detained there for the, you know, with the king of Persia. So there are times when you will pray. You have prayed. You have fasted. It's not that God is not here. He is. Mm -hmm. In this instance, the, the prayer was answered the same day that Daniel prayed. But this is what happened. The angel who was responsible to bring the message to Daniel was detained in the spirit. This is spiritual mm. warfare we're talking about. That is why we need to pray without ceasing. When we don't mm. see our answers, we need to pray. So Daniel waited 21 days. After 21 days, that is when now, because uh, Angel Gabriel got help from Michael, we need to understand these things. Michael is the archangel, right? He is a mm. warrior angel. So now Michael came through to help, and that is how his answer came through. But otherwise, God had already released your answer. So the things you have prayed for, God has answered. The issue is in the spiritual world. The issue is Amen. the prince Amen. of Persia is mm -hmm. holding mm -hmm. on to your answers, holding mm -hmm. on to the things that you should have. That is why we mm -hmm. need to press in. That is why we need mm -hmm. to incorporate other ways of prayer. Amen. God's strategy Amen. is the same. So sometimes mm -hmm. your, 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 your answers are delayed. Okay, Sometimes God will delay an answer. Because he doesn't want to change your situation. He wants you to change. He wants to change. Amen. So Amen. Until you get to that point of total mm. surrender, I'm reminded mm. of Hannah. Hannah in the book mm. of Samuel, First Samuel, chapter one, right? So Hannah mm -hmm. was married. Hannah. Elkanah had two wives. Uh, there was Penina there, and then there was Hannah. So Penina had children. Hannah didn't have children. And Penina used to really provoke Hannah to mm. anger. Mm -hmm provoke her to tears. Hannah was constantly crying. And every time, you know, they went to Shiloh to pray, right? But then mm -hmm. when they went there, each one had to offer a sacrifice. And when they prayed, I'm sure Hannah's prayer was that of a child. Lord, give me a child so mm -hmm. that I can silence Penina. That is why our mm -hmm. prayer sometimes is not answered. Lord, give me yeah. a job so that I can fix my husband. <laughs> mm -hmm. That I can fix <laughs>
changes. You spend your money until you sit and say, Lord, just change me. Mm -hmm. Not my situation. Amen. Just Amen. Amen. I just want to see Amen. life the way you see it. I just want to see Amen. your eyes. I just want to have Amen. Your that is when things begin to change. Sometimes Amen. 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 So as we conclude this morning, I would like to encourage us to continue praying. Don't stop praying even when you don't see anything happening. Amen. Remember, it's a spiritual activity. Think mm -hmm. of Daniel. Hannah prayed for a very long time. Okay, that was mm -hmm. the question. Daniel prayed, but because it was the prince of Persia that was hold, holding on. But some people, mm -hmm. even as they prayed, you know, they were getting answers by King Jehoshaphat. We saw what happened. When the people were still praying, they didn't even believe that Peter was out of jail. Peter was mm -hmm. out of jail. You know, Paul and Silas, was they here? Yeah, the guy wanted to kill himself, <laughs> you know, because it was such a miracle. The foundation mm -hmm. took. So, you know, even with us, when we are praying, the foundations of whatever surrounds us, you know, the change mm -hmm. of whatever mm -hmm. bondage we are in, they begin mm -hmm. to pray. Amen. 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 So what we need to do is just to pray and God mm. in his own way is going to break what needs to be broken. He's going to mm. shift what needs to be shifted in our life. That Amen. Is Amen. Happens, but mm. we have to continue praying. In the process, let's not make it about us. Let's just mm -hmm. pray. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. And, um, Amen. Philippians mm. 4, chapter 4 says, be anxious for nothing, yes. but in everything by prayer and supplication. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let your requests be known to God. So last time we were talking Amen. about you know, the Lord's prayer and how we need to pray. So everything with thanksgiving in our heart. Amen. Let us Amen. forget the things that God has already mm. done for us. Let mm. us not forget mm. his goodness. He loads us mm. with his daily benefits. Hallelujah. Amen. So the psalm is one, psalm one zero three was saying, bless the Lord, oh my soul, mm. and all that mm. is within me, bless his holy name. Forget Hallelujah. not all benefits he heals you right amen. So amen that is what the psalmist was saying so there's so much to thank god about mm. amen that is amen. amen and then in ephesians ephesians chapter mm. 6 this is the last scripture that i'm giving this morning ephesians mm. chapter 6 speaks a lot about warfare we're going to address warfare separately but today we're just talking about praying and here mm. the author of ephesians was saying pray in the spirit at all times i just want to pause right there in case you've never heard anybody speaking in tongues like you heard us speak this morning you know a spiritual language is what the holy spirit bapt baptizes us with nobody can teach you to speak in tongues mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And you ask. so if you are longing for the gift of speaking in tongues you can ask the mm. holy spirit to baptize you himself. Amen. That is a mm. spiritual language. So Paul was saying in Corinthians, you know, um, you're saying, I will pray with my mind and I will pray in the spirit, right? So I will sing with my mind, I will sing in the spirit. That is what it means. So then there's a spiritual language. You, you know, our vocabulary is limited. So we can only mm. pray for a short time because this is what we know we get tired but when we allow our spirit to arise and to worship Amen. to pray mm -hmm. whether it is mm -hmm. prayer or whether we are just worshiping we are going to pray much more and that is where you know things are beginning to happen in the spirit mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. so we are Amen. told in the book of john that god is spirit and those that worship worshiping must worship him in spirit and in truth amen and so amen. Also, you know you know paul was also saying it is we the circumcision that yes. worship God in spirit mm. and in truth. in truth. And we have no confidence in the flesh. In the so flesh. Really, I have Amen. no confidence in myself, right? Mm. Because mm. my flesh, you know, uh, when I pray and I'm going to pray about something, if you have offended me, if I'm going to pray in the flesh, I will make sure I'll stay. Mm. I'll just pray God's prayer of fire. fire. <laughs> yeah, you know, so I'm going to be, but mm. when I decide, you know what, Lord? I have no confidence in my flesh. My mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will let you pray. Mm -hmm. Because we are also told mm -hmm. that, you know, the spirit yeah. Amen. God, sometimes we do not know how we ought to pray. Amen. Amen. God will give us utterance. He will Amen. show all the things that we need to pray for. So if you Amen. offend me, I just pray in the spirit. Then the spirit of God is going to allow me. He's going to show me just how I mm -hmm. must pray. Okay. And Amen. that is the Amen. will of God. When we pray mm -hmm. in the spirit, we can mm -hmm. pray. The will of God. Amen. Mm, amen. So amen. he says, pray in the spirit at all times. Mm, pray with mm, all kinds of prayers mm, and ask mm, for everything you need. This is where amen. now when you are praying in the spirit, here strategies 
Then mm. when you see Jehaziel, you remember King mm. Jehoshaphat, Chronicles. Jehaziel, mm. he, he was in tune with the spirit of God. When we look mm. at Samuel, Samuel mm. the one who understand. He was a prophet. So when mm. you are operating in a spiritual, you know, anointing, when you are when you are really operating in the spirit. That is where you begin to see strategies. That is where you begin mm, to see mm, strategies. Mm, this one means that, this one means mm, that so you know how to pray. You will be guided. That is what Amen. 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 Need. This is what Paul Amen. 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 Let us pray. Let us pray this morning. Let us thank God for the message. I'm excited. Um, I trust you are excited and I trust you are being blessed by this message every time I'm speaking. Amen. Speaking to myself, Father, we want to thank you for this day. We honor you. Thank you for your yes, message. Lord. Thank you mm. for your revelation. Help mm. us to of your word and not your.